Hi guys, I need some advice. So I'm doing a gym stream, and the reason I haven't done it so far is because my fucking Wi-Fi system, my internet system in my house, um, broke. Basically it broke. The extenders were pulled out of the Wi-Fi, of the router, which made everything so much slower, 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 because um, the house isn't covered by all the Wi-Fi, so I'd have to stream from a spot that is. And that is being fixed really soon, um, like within a few days. The second thing is, I'm trying to get a doctor to come on stream with me um, to analyze um, Jim's medical shit. And the reason I'm doing that is because everything that I've read so far seems to be bullshit. Like he's obviously not dying of like a hundred different things. I think we can all see that. But there is one thing that does have me questioning, just, just that one thing. And that is that he says he has hypothyroidism. Now, when you look at him, he actually looks like someone that does have, does have hypothyroidism. I have hypothyroidism. So if you remember when everyone used to call me alien and say that my hands were really long and that my like fingers were like really long and thin, all of that is like a, a hypothyroidism thing, like being very skinny, looking like very skeletal. Um, and that's caused by your thyroid not working. And the reason it makes you look like Slender Man is because it, it fucks with a lot of stuff. Your, thi your thyroid is an organ that controls the regulation of, like, basically all of your internal systems. If that is too fast or too slow, you're going to have, like, you're, it's gonna, you're going to look very different. <laughs> and being very pale, like Jim is, is one of those things that is caused by hypothyroidism. Another thing which is basically just extended hypothyroidism, like when it, when it gets really bad, is called Graves disease. Now, Graves disease is basically what happens when your thyroid is, hypothyroidism has gotten, gone too far, if you know what I mean. Like, that's what I had. It's very difficult to have, like, very severe hypothyroidism without having Graves disease. Um, and Graves disease can make you crazy. It can give you psychosis. It can... It can basically fuck up every other organ in your body because your body won't consume fat. And when your body doesn't consume fat, um, nothing works as it should because you need fat to regenerate your cells. You need fat to stay warm. And because you don't stay warm and because your cells aren't being regenerated, your immune system becomes weak. And when that happens, you end up with like a lot of other issues you get sick very very often so i would bank on him having that that is the only thing that i think that he's not lied about because i don't think that he realizes i don't know if he's stupid i don't know what it is but i don't think he's clocked how severe hypothyroidism is so i think that all of these other symptoms symptoms that he's having are just a branch out from one issue which is Graves disease um because when you have hypothyroidism it's very it's criminally underrated and under researched in terms of the fact that you know everyone knows what happens when you have like a um a slow thyroid you end up like um really fat and stuff right everyone knows what happens there but people seem to think that everyone that's skinny is just anorexic which kind of just proves how little people know about about hypothyroidism it is just not spoken about as much as as the the disorders that make people fat so a lot of the time people just assume that we're anorexic <laughs> because if you look at jim and someone said oh he has male anorexia you'd believe it right and that's because hypothyroidism it 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 can just completely fuck your body up and like with me when i had it um, really badly for a while. It was so bad that I had to have radiation treatment to shock my body into resetting my systems, I guess. Um, but Jim called me Skeletor, which is something that I find quite funny because we have exactly the same conditions. So that's great. But all the other conditions he says he has don't seem to have any relevance to... Like, I've gone through the sheet. I'm almost done writing up that thing that I was doing, you know, copying down his, his illnesses. I'm going to finish that tonight. Um, but from what I've seen, 
all the other things just seem to be him trying to put a name to like symptoms that he's facing because of hypothyroidism and it's made him so like insane he's turned into like a hypochondriac and like I get it but at the same time it should be like fairly obvious that the reason you have a rash is because your like immune system is 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 failing and not because you're allergic to a hundred different things so the thing with Jim is I think he is a mixture I, I think it's mostly hypochondriacness, whatever the fuck that word is. But I feel like there is an element of like a thyroid issue or something that has started this, like, you know, a, something that caused all of this to go down. Now, I know one doctor, and if he's not willing to go on, I don't know what to do. But surely some of you here are doctors and you can come on because I, I'm just saying shit based on what I have. I am just saying this stuff based on because I have hypothyroidism, so I know what it's. I know how it is. Um, mine's not as severe anymore because I had legitimate radiation treatment. I think people were like, "How did she recover from anorexia so fast?" And that was just the funniest thing for me, ever, um, because you know if you actually had anorexia, you couldn't recover that fast. It's just not possible. But um, hypothyroidism is if your thyroid is off. Your, your whole body is, is going to feel like shit because that's an organ. And if any of your organs start fucking up, you're, you have all these other issues. And I think Jim is just too stupid to realize that the majority of stuff he's facing might just be because of that one issue and not because he's, like, you know, dying of a hundred different unknown issues. Like... The radiation treatment also checks out with with Graves' disease or hypothyroidism because it's kind of a late-stage treatment. So when you get to the point where you're basically almost starving because your body won't retain fat, the doctors try and reset your system using radiation. That's I also had hypermetabolism, so I was sort of super skinny. Um, and I had like a... like I was hyperventilating constantly because my heart rate was too high, um, all of that is, like, thyroid issues, but I'm, I'm thoroughly convinced that Jim is just, like, it started out with something like a thyroid problem, and over the years, he just became, like, so schizo, and, like, su such a, so paranoid about this issue, that he slowly just started to, like, just make up, um, other, just invent other reasons as to why he why he's sick i mean i don't know i am just talking into the abyss because it's lunchtime and i'm bored but from what i can see he was actually sick at one point and then i think what happened was he just saw a great opportunity to grift off of it and this is where we're at this is this is what happened that's my theory um, but I need a doctor to come on the stream and tell me how legit that is, um, how much I've got right, because I don't know. So if any of you guys are doctors and would be willing to do that, please hit me the fuck up. I will shout you out, I will give you credit, um, you'll get all of that, um, yeah, but I just need, I just need to have some sort of, like, medical input here because you know i don't really know i don't really have like a good idea on how to deal with like men like schizo men that say they have like a million different illnesses that's not really like my strong point you know so